ADHD has been uh, a disease that I neglected for years. Now that I appreciate the extent to which it penetrates my office, I'm a better practitioner. I'm able to intercede where I wasn't before. And let me be clear. There's a survey about the life status of people with ADHD that was done by um, Dr. Joseph Biederman. In that survey, he found those suffering from ADHD, those adults, had tw twice the rate of divorce, were very heavy cigarette smokers. They had a high use of, su of alcohol to the point where uh, it was terribly impairing. And many times, the ADHD was the root of generating depression and other psychiatric illness. So for me to be able to go in now, recognize when my patients uh, have uh, ADHD, perhaps assist them even more at getting off of tobacco, that's a, that's a win. For me to be able to go in with a patient who's not doing well with substance use and find that the root of it and the root driver of some of the causes couldn't that be ADHD and it's treated and they're less likely to be tempted. Still need to go to a 12-step program. Again, another uh, indication would be those who have depressive illness but don't get all the way better. Now I look for ADHD. 10% of my depressed patients have ADHD. That's a large number. And if you don't treat the root cause, you're not going to do well. And finally, my patients have a hard time listening, whether they have ADHD or not, to the instructions, medications, etc., that I give to them. When a patient has ADHD, their medical illnesses are in uh, a disarray. In other words, they don't listen to your instructions, they miss their appointments, they don't take their medications. So all in all, I'm a much better practitioner because I screen for and treat ADHD.